Let's talk about Superman. So yeah, um, moving sucks. Uh, <laughs> this is my new location, I hope you like it. Uh, hopefully it'll get a little bit cleaner in the coming days. Um, but yeah, and I live right next to a highway now, so whenever I'm filming, you get to hear that! Oh, it's glorious. But regardless, let's get to the topic at hand. I see a lot of people freaking out on the interwebs these days because our old boy Superman, who I've, uh, I've mentioned in passing a couple of times, uh, keeps getting new stuff. He got a new power a couple months ago and everyone was freaking out. Superman has a new power for the first time in ages. A new power. Then I got uh, news It's like, oh, Superman's changing his costume. We covered that, actually. The most recent one. Uh, Superman's secret identity is out into the public, so he drops Clark Kent as a secret identity and gets a new secret identity. Superman has a new secret identity. Clark Kent is over and done with. The face of Superman is forever changing. And I looked at that and thought, okay. I enjoy irrationally lashing out at new things as much as the next guy, but... Let's be real for a second here. Superman has done this before. Let's go back to the superpower for the for, 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 for one thing. The new superpower that Superman supposedly got was, in case you don't know, the power to expunge all of the solar radiation in his body at one time. For those of you not in the know, Superman's powers are gained through absorbing energy from the yellow sun. In fact, it is said, Superman doesn't even need to eat or breathe. All he needs is enough solar radiation to keep him happy and healthy and wise. And also shooting lasers from his eyes and, you know, carrying heavy things. Superman now has the ability to expunge all of that solar radiation from his body at once. One, not a very good superpower, especially since it leaves him weak when he's done with it and he has to recharge, so he can only use it as a last resort. And two, he's always had that power. When has he not had that power? I mean, you just go back to the 80s with Superman in, in the John Byrne era. There was a story in which there was a villain who was made up of artificial solar radiation. Her name was Rampage, and Superman absorbed all of the solar radiation in her body into himself and was a supercharged of solar radiation. He was glowing yellow, so he flew up into space and expunged all of the solar radiation at once. That has always been a thing in Superman comics, at least back until the 80s. And then this other thing about Superman uh, changing his secret identity. Wow, it's... Uh, you got me there. That's a really shocking development that has never happened in Superman comics before. It's not like in the 90s there was a supervillain named Conduit who knew Superman's secret identity and started tracking down his loved ones and trying to kill them off. Superman could only save them by going into hiding, changing his name, secret identity, becoming a lumberjack for a time before Conduit finally tracked him down and started killing the loved ones from his new life and then eventually uh, Superman had to defeat him. Conduit ended up killing himself accidentally and S Superman returned to life as Clark Kent. Wait, that, that actually, you know what, I think that actually did happen. Bad example. It's not as if back in the 50s, in the Silver Age, Superman lost his memory and so became a completely different secret identity in the form of a chain-smoking, 
monocled British uh, reporter who also happened to work for the Daily Planet. Oh wait, no, that happened too. The most comforting and disappointing thing about comic books is this. There is nothing new under the sun. Anything that you can think of has probably already happened. Uh, it is rare to find writers who are good at coming up with actually new and interesting stuff, which is why people like Grant Morrison, Jeff Johns, and Mark Wade are so popular as good comic book authors. They don't really bring anything really new to the table. They just take the elements that were already there and reorganize them in a way that you might never have thought of before. For instance, Grant Morrison's creative use of the character of Batman Zurin Law, or Jeff John's uh, resuscitation of the Brainiac character from the Silver Age, or Mark Wade's. Uh, well, anything Mark Wade does, really. And to be honest, I haven't read a lot of the New 52 Superman books, so I don't know, maybe some of these stories are really good. I don't read them because um, the way that they've been writing the Superman character in these New 52 books is not Superman to me. That's not the character of Superman that I know. Uh, Superman is more than a costume. He's more than a S symbol. He's more than a set of powers. He is a character that I love and I respect. I did a whole tribute video on this guy. He's awesome. This is why I am actually now picking up Superman, Lois, and Clark, which is a miniseries about what happens to the universe, the Superman from the universe that I read uh, growing up, or that I was aware of growing up, what happens to him after the New 52 starts, and when he's not the main universe Superman anymore, what does he do? And it's a great story so far. I mean, it's only one issue in, but I recommend it. For now, anyway. We'll see where it goes. Bottom line, comic book fans, DC Comics is just trying to make a huge press spectacle out of Superman, as they have every, ever since they managed to make headlines with the death of Superman. Uh, if the stories are good, buy them. If they're not, buy them anyway and bitch about them online. I'm RV Media, and I'll see you all later. Thank you.